I'm Alex Jager and in this video I'm going to show you how to add numbers quickly and easily. So as you can see I have written down a few questions here. So I'm going to add those ones up quickly and easily as I just said. So we're going to start with the first one and this is just an easy one and it will be quicker to do it out of your head but I'm going to show you how to do it because you have to start with an easy one just to show you the concept. So. Instead of just writing them normally next to each other, we can also write them under each other. So we write 21, and we write 34 underneath it, and we draw a line with a plus sign. So this is actually the plus, which is normally in between the numbers. And then we add those two numbers together, so 4 and 1, which is 5, and 2 and 3, which is 5. And this is actually very easy, so as you can see. So, the answer to this question will be 55. So now I'm going to go to the next one. So now we have 48 plus 75. So now you've got to remember that the last two digits have to be in line. Because otherwise you're going to get a different number and it's going to get a different result. So, uh, you can actually imagine a decimal point here. So, the decimal point has to be in line. But we can just leave this one out in here. Um, so, we add 5 to 8. So, then we get... So, we add 5 to 8, and we get 13. But when we, we're not going to just write them next to each other, because then that's going to cause a different result. So, we actually write the one up here, because it's a 10, and... Ten, the tens go up there. So we just add them to those numbers. So 1 plus 4 is 5, plus 7 is 12. So now we actually do this the same with the 1 from the 12, but as there are no numbers here, so those ones are actually zeros, it doesn't make a difference and we can just write it down there straight away. So the answer to this question will be 123. Now I'm going to show you how to do it with really large numbers. So you get 10,247, 79, sorry, plus 7,632. So, again, we just write them underneath each other, 2, 7, 9, and 7,632. And as you can see, the last digits are in line again. So now we write the line underneath it with the plus sign. And now we add 2 to 9, so this is 11, write the 1 up here, 1 to 7, 8, plus 3 is 11 again. Now we add 2 to 6, which is 8, plus 1 is 9, 0 to 7 is 7, and 1 to 0 is 1. So, the answer to this question will be 17,911. So now, what would you do if you had decimal places? Well, basically, you would do exactly the same. So, here we have the question 0 0.51 plus 0 0.32. So, again, we just write them underneath each other. But we have to make sure that the decimal point is in the same place. So the decimal point has to be at the same level. So again, we write the line underneath it with the plus sign. So 2 and 1 is 3. 5 and 3 is 8. And 0 and 0 is 0. And the decimal point is exactly at the same level as the other two. So the answer to this question will be 0 0.83. So you now we can also do the, this with larger decimal, with more decimal places. So that means we will have 0 0.7634 plus 0 point, so decimal place, um, decimal points at the same place, so 0 0.63. Again, the line with the plus sign. So how are we going to do this? We're not going to add the 4 to the 3, because that's going to cause a different result, as those ones are tenths, and those ones are thousands. So, instead of doing that, we can imagine 
zeros here, because that's not going to make a difference, because that's just exactly the same. So we add the 4 to the 0, which is 4, 3 to the 0, which is 3, 6 to 3 is 9, and 7 to 6 is 13. So 1 up here, that's going to make 1. Decimal point at the same place as the other two, and then the answer will be 1.3934. So, now I'm also going to show you that you can also do this with more than two numbers. So instead of only using two numbers, you can do 3, 4, 5, 6, or even 7, or even more, as, as, much, no, as many numbers as you like. So, for example, you can get 0 0.76 plus 1.25. Now we would just add the next numbers, we would just write underneath it, so 0 0.35. You can do this with as many numbers as you like, so you just keep going down. So now we just add those numbers together, so we get 6 and 5 is 11, plus 5 is 16. So we write the 6 here, and the 1 up here again. So 1 plus 7 is 8, plus 2 is 10, plus 3 is 13. So we're at the 3 here and the 1 here. So 1 to 0 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Plus 7 is 9. So again, the decimal, uh, decimal point at the same level. And this is the answer to the questions. So you see this um, when you look at your receipt most of the time. When you look at your receipt, you will see bread, butter, milk, whatever. And then under, uh, you will see a line. And under the line you'll see total, and then that's the total number, the total cost for what you buy. Um, so, um, of course, for an easier way, you could also use a calculator. But, um, yeah, it's really good exercise for your brain. And for me, sometimes it takes more work to, write it, to type it up on my calculator than actually just do this or do it out of my head. Thank you for watching.